I'm coiling the spring, coil a spring, let the spring go. Bow and arrow. I'm drawing, the backup is getting him to sit back, use his body coil, and from there, and I could say, well, if you want to halt, I'm going to bring your right front over your left front a little bit, and now you earn your halt. And some of you, you want to work on backing up, and so maybe you're working your horse and you're moving him out a little bit, so before you halt, think about sitting up, lift your sternum, and say, if you want to halt, you need to back up, and then you can halt. When I lift my sternum, it tells the horse to lift their front end up. Imagine if I were riding like this. His front end would not come up. It can't. When I get good at lifting the sternum and opening my shoulders, look at that. You give the you give the front end a place and a space to come, and we can receive their back. If I'm here, his front end can't come up. If my shoulders roll forward, his front end can't come up, if my, so on and so forth. But if I sit up, breathe in, lift, I give him a place to go. And I'll work on this. Up. <laughs> And squeeze, release, and bring them back. And up. And come back. And then if you want to halt, I'm going to sit up and say, you, you back up. Give me a nice back up, and then, okay, I'll give you a chance to come down, take a break, and so on and so forth. So very good there. Well, as I go, it's getting to where now I can work a longer rein. Watch his ears. See his ears move around? His ears point to where his eyes are looking. The horse is looking at where they're thinking about going. So if I think about looking to the right, bringing my right leg just slightly forward and maybe I wiggle it slightly, I could draw that right ear back. I could draw his left ear back. And if I can get him to look to the left and think left, he'd go left. So I just take my headlight and I shine it. So I might wiggle my right leg, get him thinking about the right, give the right ear back, right eye back, and now I ride his outside shoulder around. I'm going to get him looking, see that left ear? I'm going to get him looking left, thinking left, headlight, take him. Take him that way. Now, when the head bobs down right, it goes down to the right, up, down to the right, up, down to the right, up. You can see it. When it goes down to the right, his left front leg's ready to come over. In other words, the horse tells us their head nods down to the left when he's ready to bring his right front leg over. Turn to the right, turn to the right, or left, turn to the left, right front turning left, left, I'm exaggerating, left, see? And so I think about turning and giving. I give a horse a place to turn and I let him do it. So maybe I rein him and then I soften. So I turn and soft, turn, soften, turn, give, turn, give. There's always a little give, just like a squeeze, give, squeeze, give, and back up to squeeze, give. The give, the soften, that is where your horse can do it. The hold, if you hold, he can't do it. If you hold, he's got a brace back. If, if you're on a horse and I push on you and you're leaning over, you're not going to fall off, you're going to push back. So it's the giving where he can do it. So it's like I ask, soften, ask, soften, ask, soften, right? There's always a soften. Even here in the trot, soften here. Now I'm going to squeeze, soften, squeeze, soften. All right. Here we go. When the head comes up, I can squeeze the rein to slow him down. Ready? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. As the head comes up, the back legs are under. And so from the canter to walk is my timing to squeeze. 
if I keep squeezing and holding, he pushes. He has to. So it's really fun to work on never holding your reins or your legs. Never hold. You can get firmer, but don't hold. Don't hold. All right. Forward motion, and I don't know where we're at with time, so somebody tell me if it's five minutes or ten minutes, right? Ten minutes. So for those of you that want to get your horse more forward, do you ever have forward problems or do you ever see forward problems with your students? I know I do. Because remember, we need forward. Without forward, you don't have anything. I'll show you a little exercise we can do with our horses. And what I would do, I would recommend that you get centered up and that you're, you know you're in position and that you're not sitting crooked and, and that's really important so that your horse can do it physically. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on just sitting up and bringing my life up and getting his life up and getting down to those feet and I'll back him and then I'll sit up and swing my seat forward and see if I can bring him out. I'm coiling the spring, coil a spring, let the spring go. Bow and arrow. I'm drawing, the back up is getting him to sit back, use his body coil, and from there we go. So I'll work on that with horses and students, just simple back up, and then I'll say sit up and trot ahead. And then I'll say now bring him back, slow and easy, and bring him back, and we coil, or we pull the bow back, and you could even bring the shoulder through, and then you could go if you're doing like cattle work. And that's really interesting. So think about this once. If he coils up and he sits back, he's in a place to go. What about halt? It's the same thing. I need him to coil, so I pick up just a little bit of a soft feel, and I squeeze release, and I lift my sternum and I say, coil, halt. So he's thinking kind of canter. And I'm getting, getting him a little bit jazzed up. So coil, come back. Good. And let's slow it down. Here we go. Nice and slow. How little? Come up. Good. And come back. 